taking the plunge can mean taking a risk. Wild swimmers in Wallingford know how cold the water is, but not how clean it is. We were desperately wanting to get bathing water status. The beach has become an absolute magnet for people all around the area to come and swim. Um, but we do have the problem of sewage. On a chilly day in March, only a few brave these waters. But come summer, the beach is often packed. That's why the refusal of bathing water status here has baffled so many. Devastated and totally flummoxed. I just can't believe it. We had everything. Um, and it, it, it is absolutely bewildering and, and devastating. It's another piece of evidence that the, the government are not holding the water companies to account. Official bathing designation means the Environment Agency regularly tests the river and can compel water companies to take action. Signs will tell swimmers how clean the waters are, like at Port Meadow in Oxford, which became only the second place in the country to achieve it. Only 14% of rivers are in good ecological condition and a parliamentary report has revealed the government is not on track to meet its own goal of getting all rivers to a good standard by 2027. And it's not just about swimming. Dirty rivers are bad for biodiversity, bad for wildlife and bad for nature. The government maintains it's committed to improving water quality and denied any involvement from water companies in the decision. The Department for the Environment and Rural Affairs told us when selecting new sites for potential bathing water designation, we consider how many people bathe there, if the site has suitable infrastructure and facilities and if measures are being taken to promote bathing. But DEFRET refused to say where Wallingford is falling short, leaving many wondering if something else is afoot. So you think this is a wider problem than just here in Wallingford? Absolutely it is. We know that many communities up and down the country applied for bathing water status for their rivers last year and like us they were refused by the Secretary of State with no reasons given. You know the government says that they're committed to cleaning up our inland waterways and yet this just highlights as far as I'm concerned that they have no real commitment to cleaning up our rivers at all. The message to government is that when it comes to protecting our environment it's now sink or swim. Charlotte Brewer-Redney, ITV News, Wallingford.